Warning. The Last Jedi contains highly subversive screenwriting. If you have preconceived expectations, if you are looking for consistent character development, go and fuck yourself, because you won't find it in this highly original genre-bending piece of filmmaking. It's so original you might just get hard, and do a little bit of come on yourself. So be warned. Thank you very much. Hello fuckface and welcome to this educational film. In this educational film, we will break down the plot of Star Wars, Episode 3, The Last Jedi, into a condensed quick reference guide. The Last Jedi, released in theaters in 1999, is directed by Mark Hamill and stars Keira Knightley, Keanu Reeves, and Hamill himself. In The Last Jedi, a young Jedi hopeful arrives on a mysterious watery island planet, in search of the legendary hero, Luke Skywalker. However, in a highly original and subversive stroke of screenwriting genius, she discovers that Skywalker has become a jaded cynical recluse. The once great hero spends his days shambling around the island, drinking alcoholic space alien milk straight from the tit. The Jedi hopeful, Rey, attempts to wean him off the alien tit, and get him to join the fight against yet another fascist galactic regime, led by yet another of his naughty relatives. But Skywalker, consumed by regret over his past life as a chronic sister kisser, is too filled with shame to come out of hiding. He also doesn't want anyone to know how much of a major fuck up he caused, threatening his protege with a deadly sex toy, instead of talking through his angst. Little does Skywalker know, Rey has been having telekinetic cam sessions with his emo nephew, Ben Swallow. Ben, using his extraordinary power of swole, convinces Rey to have telekinetic mind sex and tells her about the time his abusive uncle turned on him, with a deadly sex toy. Rey, realizing Luke has been written as a pathetic failure, purely so he can have an Act 3 redemption, decides to leave and make her way to the final act of the screenplay. She arrives in the office of Ben's boss. Some stuff happens that appears to be directly lifted from the screenplay of 1924's Revenge of the Jedi, and Ben uses his telekinetic powers to kill his boss, thereby making him conveniently irrelevant, and removing any need to explain his backstory. Ben asks Rey to join him, on his fascist quest to kill everyone from the original trilogy. But she says no and leaves. Everyone ends up on a planet that looks a lot like Hoth from 1965's The Empire Strikes Back. This time it's not a snow planet though. It's actually coke. Some shooty stuff happens and then Skywalker, having been visited and snapped out of his depression by the ghost of a deformed leprechaun, arrives on the planet to face his nephew. Although, strangely, he neglects to apologize for that time when he stood over him in his sleep brandishing a deadly sex toy. Ben tries to kill Luke. But it turns out he wasn't really there. He was just using telepathy to make it look like he was there. It was all a cunning trick. But Luke dies, having exerted a great amount of force juice, in order to pull that radical stunt. Meanwhile everyone else escapes, but most of the good guys are now dead. It's the perfect setup for the final installment, where the ragtag band of rebels will have to overcome impossible odds, in order to bring down Ben's fascist space army. There was another side plot that happened alongside all this. But it was badly written and isn't really worth mentioning. It would have saved everyone a lot of time if it was just edited out, as it didn't really add much to the plot. Thank you for watching this educational film. Now, fuck off.